All right, well, before I get into today's video, I want to show off this thing that I just got in here, which, if you see me up above you here messing with the thing, uh, this company here, Tautronics, sent me, it's, well, they sent me, they gave me an option to choose a couple of things to, to review, and uh, I picked this uh, LED selfie light, which uh, I was not really expecting much out of it, but this thing is actually pretty awesome. The only light I'm using at all is from that. It's got different settings. You can cycle different colors. There's like a soft yellowish light. There's the bluish LED light. And then there's the bright regular white light. It's almost like a, like a regular light bulb. But that's all. It's pretty cool. It's pretty bright. Uh, it's actually the only light I have on in the house right now. So... Uh, that's how bright it is. It's working perfectly. I wanted to get something like this because I've never had good lighting in any of my videos. So I picked this and I was really just getting it for the light. Uh, which by the way is also Bluetooth. You can hook it up to your phone uh, and control it. Uh, you can control your phone with a remote control that snaps pictures. Uh, shutter control. But it's also got a remote built into the wiring here. That's a USB wire. You can plug it into your computer if you're doing like streaming or something like that. Or you can plug it into uh, a charging block and plug it into the wall. Uh, this thing, it's, I got it, like I was saying, I just got it for the light itself. But it came with, like I really was not expecting a very nice tripod. But what came with it is a really, really nice, very lightweight, very compact tripod. This is probably almost five feet, uh, and it also comes with, uh, for one, it's also a regular tripod. It will fit any anything that would mount onto a regular tripod. It's got that regular universal screw on it on the main base, which the light itself screws onto. So the light will also work on any tripod and selfie stick or anything like that that you have that has that attachment. And on top of that, it also comes with two phone holders, like the... Uh, you know, I'll show, maybe I'll show pictures of it or whatever, or just go to the link down in the description and check it out. Uh, it's got two phone holder holders that you can attach pretty much anywhere. One attaches dead center in the middle of the ring light, and the other one you can put it anywhere. It's got a clamp on it, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, so I'm going to be probably using this tripod for a lot of different things besides what it was originally intended for, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, so I want to thank Taltronics for sending it to me. Go check out their website. It's all in the link that's down below. You can get 20% off with the coupon code I have linked down there. Check them out. And uh, yeah, now uh, let's get to the fishing. I'm using that tripod I got with the, uh, with the I guess what they call the selfie light. I think of more like a studio light. But uh, yeah, uh, the agreement was I could get everything for free as long as I talked about it in the video and I don't want to make a video that's just specifically about that because nobody's gonna look at nobody's gonna watch that so the best way to do that like all the big youtubers do is they have any kind of advertisement they they tack it on with one of their regular videos problem is I'm not able to make a regular video I'm not catching any fish and I've got a deadline to get this out I've only got a few days left so if you're seeing this, then I haven't caught a fish in over a month. So, uh, I, I guess it's the weather. I don't know what it is. I just, I can't find any. I don't see any. There, I had one bite the other day because I actually did see one fish. I know if I could find them and I could see them, I would probably be able to catch a couple, but they're nowhere to be found. Typically in winter like this the fish look for deeper water that's less affected by the weather uh, so when it gets real cold they go into deeper water when it gets real hot they go into deeper water problem is here there is no deep water so they usually stick to around the rocks and structure that absorb the heat and then when the sun's out they go out into the shallow water that warms up faster than the deeper water but that's that's not the pattern they're following this year. So, uh, if I don't catch anything, 
sorry but thanks for watching anyway um yeah i'm gonna keep trucking along